In this question, we get a fairly simple task. Sufficient information could come in a lot of different forms. Let's turn to the statements, evaluating them separately first. Statement one will be insufficient. We can evaluate by cases to demonstrate that. The statement tells us that 25% of license holders are female. That could be true in one of different cases. For example, we could have 25 females and 100% of them own licenses. Or we could have 50 females and 50% of them own licenses. In these cases, the number of females is the same. Both statements would satisfy statement one, but they would give different answers to the question posed to us. In one case, the answer would be 100%. In the other case, it would be 50%. So we don't have sufficient information to answer definitively. Statement one is insufficient. In statement two, we have the same problem, a similar problem. The numbers and percentages of people with and without licenses could vary. In fact, the two cases that we just imagined for statement one could still apply here and would still give different answers. So statement two is insufficient. Combining the statements, we could imagine a case in which we have 100 people with licenses and 100 people without licenses. That case is permitted by the joint data. In that case, we would be able to calculate the percentage of females with licenses, but we could still double the number of people with licenses. This would be allowed by the data and it would change the answer. So the statements together are insufficient. The correct answer is E.